Yo, what is up everybody? It is Maverick Lundy here and today I'm going to be showing you all several tips and tricks on how to play Frost, like how to place her mats, what attachments you should use, and overall how you should use her. Let's get straight into it. First off, I would like to say her weapon overall is pretty solid. It doesn't do the most damage, but it pretty much has zero recoil and also her gun comes with a 1.5 scope which is really, really nice. Now everyone, I do suggest running the long barrel or extended barrel, whatever you wanna call it with her because it adds an extra damage boost. It just makes her gun overall a lot more better. Let's get into how to place frost mats. First off, we are gonna be covering how to place frost mats the most efficient way on barricaded windows. Now, as you can see, this is the most basic way to place a frost mat at a barricaded window. Now, as we jump through this window, you will see that that frost placement was really, really crappy. It did not work at all. We're going to be showing you guys better placement strategy. Now, the first strat to catch the enemy off guard is to place one frost mat slightly over, like halfway over to the window. And basically what this is going to do, as we can see right here, whenever you jump through the window, the bullets have missed the trap. Now, if the enemy was aiming a little slightly to the right, it would hit the trap. But most of the time, you know, they're entering for that center and the bullet will miss now in this next strategy what you're going to want to do is place two frost traps side by side like so and basically what this is going to do is when the enemy jumps through the window they're most likely only going to hit one of the traps and they're going to land on the other and not expect two of them to be at one window very good strat if i do say so myself now i'm going to be showing you guys how to place frost mats on the bigger windows and basically all you can really do for big windows is place two frost mats side by side like shown because if you only place one whenever people repel in or jump in obviously it's going to be easier to shoot also everyone please make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are enjoying these tips and tricks i'm going to be making more of these type of operator videos but let's get straight to the next tips when running frost honestly i'd say the best choice would be to run shields and this is why because you can use a bunch of different strategies with it now what most new frost players will do is place the frost mat out in the open just like that and you can see it through the shield like so as you can see and whenever you vault over it you know an enemy's easily going to be able to hit that so i'm going to be showing you guys a better strategy to it what you all are going to have to do is place two frost mats side by side like so and pretty much what this is going to do whenever somebody vaults over it it is going to make it way harder to shoot both of them you know they're obviously probably going to break one but there's a backup trap to hit them in the feet easy the shield is also good for holding angles inside the site like so you can see through the shield find out where the enemy is and then peek your head up it's very very nice and useful now another great tip that you can use for frost shield is place it a few feet away from the door like so and pretty much what it is going to do is give you a whole bunch of angles to the left and the right as you can see this shield placement pretty much just gives you a bunch of different angles that you wouldn't have had before that can help you hold sight even better and also the enemy is still gonna have to vault over the shield so you can still place a frost mat like so it is really really nice as you can see i am placing the frost mat sideways and pretty much this makes it a lot harder for enemies to see it from the outside as you can see even leaning in you still can't see the frost mat but you can through the glass and it'll snap you if you place it a little bit more to the side like me as you can see the bullets will not hit it easy catch now everybody the next set of tips that i'm going to show is basically how you should place your frost mat in doorways i'm going to be showing you all the most efficient way as possible please make sure to drop a comment down below how these tips helped you and if you guys have any more tips of your own that i have missed on this guide now as we all already know most new frost players place frost mats out in the open just like this this is definitely by far the first way to place a frost mat as possible as you see we're walking up these stairs and you can easily just see the frost mat we're going to be placing it in a way that this is not a problem now there are a few ways to get around these problems first way is to place the frost mat sideways like so and as you can see whenever you're walking up you cannot see it in your view at all it is way better than the last placement and an enemy is usually going to go to the side when walking into a room now the next way you can place a frost mat it's kind of like the same way just more of an angle it pretty much does the same job as the last tip and as you guys can see walking in you cannot see it in your field of view 
enemies will get hit by this all the time. For example, right here is a perfect place to place these frost map placements because whenever an enemy walks in, they're most likely, you know, gonna walk through that pathway right there. We're gonna place a map right here. And this map placement would be very effective in a real game because obviously an enemy is not gonna see it like shown. Easy kills. Now, the last tip that I would like to add is I usually roam with frost because she's 110 health. So she runs at a decent speed and has some decent health and her weapon is just really good for the recoil and yeah guys this is it for the video please make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed and yeah peace out hope you all have a good day see y'all